Hey guys, what's up? And uh, welcome back to a new tutorial. So I think it's time to put some clothes on this guy. <laughs> so the next thing that I want to do is I want to connect merge uh, all these subtools. So let's go merge down. Always okay. Uh, let's merge down with shoes also. Uh, actually, let's merge all. Okay, perfect. Because I'm going to use it like an avatar in Mar uh, Marvelous Designer. Sorry, not Marmoset. Uh, I'm going to let's press Polyframe, let's press Ctrl W and unite it, and let's go and decimate this guy. So Z plugin, drag it in the right. And let's go to decimal and actually let's choose direct one pre-process and decimal current in 2018 35k let's see if that will be okay now the the pre-process and decimal had place let's check it out let's go to polyframe and I think it's pretty decent for avatar in marvelous design so let's go to export and i'm going to export it to desktop call it boy and i know that the scale is messed up so i'm going to go to 3 ds max you can choose whatever software you want and let's make sure that we have unit setup centimeter and centimeter so I'm going to go to import desktop and let's import our boy import as edit poly press import before that when you're importing an OBJ or anything else if you're working from ZBrush when you press open you can see this press it make sure that it's set to zbrush also when you're exporting the mesh so let's select this guy let's go to effect pivot and press w to go to gizmo and drag it Uh, I think I want to be around one meter so let's go and select a plane just set it like I don't know. bigger than one meter so something like this and then just scale it after the plane Perfect. Now we just need to go to Reset X Form and Reset Selected. Right click, convert to at the pole. So now we have a scale for approximately one meter. So let's go and export. And let's go to OBJ and replace it. Perfect. Let's press done. Now let's go to Marvel Design and go to File, Open, and we need Avatar. So keep Centimeter open and press OK. Much better. Press Cloth and let's start. Uh, I do encourage to search for patterns right now i want to create some short pants not sure if i'm going to keep everything from here but this is a good reference for what i want to make then i google some short patterns i'm not a professional marvel designer also i'm not a designer so i'm going to try doing my best understanding how uh, clothes work so this should be back and front anyway let's get started 
uh, let's zoom it a bit one thing let's create some patterns okay based on, based on the me image uh, the shorts should look like this <laughs> so simply right uh, left click drag and release by pressing shift you will block and go straight and let's close this one perfect uh, we can go to fabric default fabric and call it short and then we can change the color let's go for some green so we can see better press ok and that's it for now let's select this one again and let's go to edit curvature uh, let's move this one like this Uh, something like this let's drag it just a bit lower now uh, let's actually let's make this one just like bigger and now let's right click and symmetry pattern let's make a symmetry by pressing shift we're going to lock it in uh, his uh, place that's it uh, one thing I want to show you as you can see I have my geese more in 3d and it's pretty big so I'm just going to right click in the space going to gizmo and you can increase and decrease the gizmo because at first was pretty small so I wanted to make it bigger like this now by pressing shift we're going to select both of them and let's just go a bit closer to his body something like this okay awesome now let's select this one and by pressing ctrl c we're going to copy it and ctrl v we're going to paste it and we have it here we're going to press right click and flip horizontal and let's move it to his back okay something like this and now again uh, right click and symmetry pattern and we have it in this way back okay perfect for now we need a rectangle shape so let's select rectangle and just drag one over here okay we can see it in 3D space let's move it closer now right click right click and symmetry pattern pressing shift so we have in the same area in the 3d space we're going to press right click flip horizontally and let's move it in the back oh yeah so this was the easy part now let's start sewing so i'm going to go to segment sewing i know for a fact that these two i want them together so this is these are the easy one now we're going to select this line and going to swing to this one we're going to check in the tree space everything is looking good and now we're going to take this one and swing to this one perfect next step let's go to take this one and swing to this one we can close a bit the avatar 
and we can see that this is swing perfectly so again select this one and attach to this one awesome let's open up our avatar again one thing I want to do is to go into edit pattern and select this one right click and split and uniform split we just need one and press ok again for this split right click uniform just one press ok so now we can go and see this like this and the back one like this now let's attach them together oops we can check everything okay attach this one together now let's go to simulate we can simulate from the left or press space awesome so I want to control A and add more particles. This one depends on your computer. So I'm going to go for now for 10 and press space. Okay, now what I want to do is to go to short. I forgot the S. Ooh does it let me to add s <laughs> s not us <laughs> let's go and add some cotton shorts or wool i don't know uh, let's keep cotton actually if i am increasing the size of this short so let's select this line and this one and drag it and press shift and then press space you can see that we are already adding some wrinkles so this is pretty cool i can go lower by let's say eight and we may call it this one done <laughs> No, I'm joking. Um, let's make it this smaller. Press space. Or we can keep it like this one. Doesn't matter. The cool thing is that you can actually export it to ZBrush and use it like this. Uh, just added some Z modeler, but I want to continue more and add more details in Marvelous and then just export it to ZBrush. I want to play just a bit more with this point. Something like this, and uh, also this one Oops. press B uh, this is pretty cool now what I want to do is to go to internal line and let's zoom in and press left click and then at the end double click over here so we add the internal line again we're going to go to the back one left click and double click perfect now let's go to um, I forgot the name so edit patterns press shift and press right click and cut and sew basically what I've done is I made them 
uh, another shape from this uh, uh, pattern so space now we can actually uh, select this one and create another one so I don't know bottom we can also change the color and we add them here so we can use another uh, fabric preset like cotton grey leather and it will have another weight so doesn't matter for now I'm going to delete it for now I do not want to control Z to the point that we can delete that before I'm going to stop the symmetry of this garment I want to show you a new feature in uh, uh, Marvelous Design 7 which is super awesome so we're going to go to top and segment top stitches so I'm going to use some stitches on to add more details so if I'm selecting let's say this as you can see we have some interesting stitches so let's select also uh, this one so we have them in the back uh, now we can go to default st sorry default top stitches and we're going to play with let's say zigzag so we can add pretty interesting details i'm not sure this will be working on this uh, uh, shorts but let's go and choose our look maybe this one yeah i think i like this one so let's go and select this lower line and see <laughs> They're pretty cool. Internal line. External one. This is pretty cool and fast. And maybe on this part, actually, I'm going to add something else on top. So maybe we can keep this or we can change them later. But this is a pretty cool feature for uh, details in level design. I want to create some back pocket so let's select our rectangular internal line just drag and press shift so we can have it a square and just let's wait to be done next I think we can we can play more with it and let's move it up a little bit let's say this is okay now let's go to edit pattern and select this one right click split it and uniform split press ok now let's select these two points move it up 
uh, I think it's pretty decent. Now that we have this internal line, let's press right click and clone as pattern. Okay, perfect. Let's see where it is in space. It's over here and let's move it in the back. Also, I think we can create, we can rename this back pocket. Uh, let's change the color, let's make it red. Now we can press right click and symmetry. So we have two. But first, I think we can right click and flip horizontal. Also for this one. And let's move it to its place. I just pressed F so I can go more close to him. East. Sometimes so weird this marvelous design I need more time to get used to it all these presets now let's just start sewing this so well problem with the symmetry is that it's not going to work for now so I'm going to right click and remove length editing so I'm going to use this one for this one so let's see what I'm doing here now Much better. Actually, I do not need to sue that. Sorry. And we have just one pocket, the other one just fall down doesn't matter let's press ctrl z and start so in this guy now press space and we have some front back pockets pretty cool now let's move on the front for the front pocket I do not want to complicate too much because I'm going to change a lot of things in zebra so let's create a simple rectangular internal line something like this and then let's go to edit curve pattern right click and let's move it just a bit something like this and then let's drag this one 
over here. I think it's just fine for now. So let's see but uh, just a bit. Select this one, right click and current as pattern. So let's move it down. Perfect. Let's move it up. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, duplicate, right click, flip horizontal, sorry, flip vertical actually, and then flip horizontal. And right click and symmetry pattern. Okay, perfect. S let's select this one. Move it a bit closer. Now let's right click and remove link editing. So actually I want this one here. Let's go to swing. Now was the correct one. <laughs> okay, so we have some front big pockets. Maybe it's not the correct position. So let's move this one just up. And I think we can play more with this design. I know maybe I'm going to change them in ZBrush I shall see I'm going to leave them like this for now I can go and add some stitches let's see how they will be looking 
So they look pretty cool. Over here, over here. I don't really want like to spend too much time in mar marvelous design because I'm going to change lot of things in zebra. I want to create just one more thing uh, where the zipper is. So I'm going to select internal line. Let's see the 3D closer. Where the zipper is, press enter. It's way too low. Uh, and as you can see. The symmetry is not good now because I want just on one side. So I can select this one, right click and remove link editing and then we can select this one and delete. Right click convert to curve point and I need to add internal line over here. Enter Select this one, right click and cut and so Perfect. Now I need to add internal line over here. Enter. Right click, cut and sew. Right click, cut and sew. Now right click and no, actually, Control C, Control V. Move it in the place and let's drag it, make it bigger. Actually, Ctrl Z because I want to create another one.
Oops. Ich. Let's stitch them together. And then I want to sew this one. And I want this one to this one. No, that's not correct one. As you can see I have problems. But this these are looking good. I just need to find the correct sewing for this one. And that's it. Uh, this shape I can uh, change the ZBrush as I said I'm going to add some thickness to all of this um, also I think the buttons and everything else I'm going to simply add in ZBrush way faster plus I'm going maybe I'm going to change the pocket etc it doesn't matter let's add some more stitches I think over here let's see yeah, they're in turn. And So I think that's it for now. I'm going to select all Ctrl A and let's go lower six for all of them. Yeah we can add more. Oops. Yep, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. I'm um, not going that much in detail usually in uh, Marvelous Design because as you know in ZBrush you can do a lot of things but Marvelous Design is awesome for wrinkles and a lot of things but I'm not an expert on clothes design so hope you find this video helpful see you next time on creating the t-shirt uh, like share it if you want and see you next time take care